So I was visiting a friend in Florida with my RV, and uh, he's in wheelchair, and uh, he got this RV, and I was actually building it for him in his driveway during COVID times, and I was helping him work on his house. So then code enforcement comes and says, you're not allowed to have two RVs on the property, even though I'm from out of state. So, and then the dude, he agrees with it, even though it's his RV that's being built and he owns the house because he says, well, the laws are fair because if every if we have two RVs in the yard and everybody else had two RVs and if the law wasn't there, everybody would have two RVs in the yard. So I'm like, dude, do you think like everybody wants to have RVs in the yard? So why should that law exist and why should you consider it a law? It's just a Nazi administrative color of law thing that they're generating money so they can come onto your property and also, you know, gain access and dictate how you should run your business in your life. So the code enforcement and then the dude actually, he sent and he, you know, he told the code enforcement, oh, he made some excuses and lied. And then the code enforcement asked him how long it's going to take. So then now it's like my time and my circumstance was botched by my own, you know, like uh, connection because they were on more side of the code enforcement than me for the purpose of building something for them. So it's like idiocy. I mean, just the mentality of a slave would think that, okay, well, everybody would have two RVs in the yard. Dude, not everybody wants to have two RVs. Not everybody's wanting to think about on the same level as you. And neither is the code enforcement on the level of anybody's thought. So it was just totally ridiculous. So then I had like a notice and then it was a notice on the door. And, you know, and then it's like, okay, I can't deal with it because it brings trouble for them and it's that's their house. So, you know, me, I'm in the middle. I get pushed around. I have to stop working on my shit. And, you know, the whole amount of stress that goes on with this is absolutely ridiculous because, okay, now, you know, my RV would have a label on it and, you know, then they come around. So it's, it's just not fair. It's just stupid. So, you know, the code enforcement was idiot and so is the dude.